three and it is the final match of the weekend the one that has been most anticipated the crunch clash in group b between portugal and romania well the estadio de restelo in lisbon he's more familiar to fans of the yokes in the center channels takes it to the line but so does the likes of Taylor Gontinak. And Gontinak is still going. Gontinak won't be stopped. An incredible solo effort from the inside center. Shedding Wolves with every step. He's heard himself in the throes of it. The contact drive after contact, post-contact. It's just fantastic work. That's exactly what you want your players to be doing. Just that never die attitude. It's fantastic see. Great start to the game. Nice and clean, just like the Romanians, but they recycle it quickly and they send a uh -oh. fabulous line that will not be stopped. The inside centers are having a field day here in Lisbon. Pedro Betancourt without a shred of Romanian defensive DNA on him. And he just cut that line very well. Good set piece, great delivery off the top. Great to 12, great line, good stuff from both teams. Very, very difficult for Portugal. Lucas goes back to Madeira as he did before, but he goes to the right hand side this time. And well, the threat of the Romanians in the Ruckers. Boy, I make sure of it so that they can do their jobs easily. Makes life easy for everyone. Boom. Well, Lionel Kampag finds Stevie Sokera. Off goes the Portuguese driving more. Kampag is the wagon of the back end at the moment. He's being driven by a band of men in red. Whose momentum is looking irresistible. Lucas goes to the right. Oh, is it an inside ball from Portela? No. Drop just shy. The ball goes loose. There's a Portuguese hand on it. And the try awarded. Well, yes. you love to see what happened in that breakdown, but it was all about the awareness and the instinct to get your hand down on the ball when it spilled loose in the dead ball area. As always. The forwards do the dirty work and the backs get the, the get the cake. Great drive from Portugal and a great finish from them. Fabulous discipline defensively from Portugal, but it's opened up now and it needs a finish. But instead, a forward pass. And that'll be the last action of the half. And an entertaining, if not edgy at times, matchup between the top two sides in Group B. Portugal 14, Romania 10. Portuguese back three players along with Pinto and Marta, but the two latter names mentioned yet to receive much ball. Second half. And also the, the much improved breakdown from the first half. The coach must have had a word with them about it. Portugal rewarded with a penalty. Yes, of course, obviously everyone is very good at the driving more now or the tap and go just on the five metre line. Gedesh in at first receiver. Again, the kicking duel resumes. Onutu felled after the kick and that is going to be a big penalty and territory gain and he looks like he's in a bit of trouble as well campaign but both of them have been reduced to 14 men at one stage as Yonel Malinte and his ballast and height into this line out he's lifting Madeira and it just opens up for the big second row confusion <laughs> reigning amongst Portuguese and Romanians alike and it was Madeira Responding the quickest, but he had the speed and the nous to convert the opportunity. An extraordinary try, but 
A big one for Portugal, down to 14. Hold the pressure. Great scrum for Portugal. They go right Get through them here. Good pressure, fantastic from them. And from that front foot momentum, the Portuguese bats can play. And, oh, we thought it was going to be pinned oh, open. It falls to oh, Lucas. He sells an outrageous dummy. Oh, oh rejoice man. for Osh Lobos. The young scrum half makes a core cool memory with a try to remember against the Romanian Oaks. Through the red jerseys, but it's Romania who brought that to the floor, so no penalty as of yet. Still the Romanians drive. Referee really marshalling this offside line. A flash back to the right-hand side and into the hands of Kirika. His fifth try in six international tests this season. The heart-carrying number eight finally gets Romania across the line and back into this contest. Guided the team round with his right boot. And that penalty in the corner sets things up for Madeira, who this time successfully transfers the ball to the back. Diniz latches on to the back. It's a runaway that. red express train. And the destination is a famous Portuguese victory against the Oaks. Duarte Diniz's try may just have the final say in this match and hammer home the Portuguese dominance against their Romanian foes. Yes, so many players to choose from. The second row has been fantastic, calling the Lanos, making the right decision at the right time. Lisbon rises to its feet in appreciation, in acknowledgement of Os Lobos, who have defeated the Oaks 38 points to 20.